What up, folks? Today's video, we're going to talk about TypeScript project references, what it looks like in a monorepo. We're going to go through setting it up manually, then looking at the benefits to setting up project references, and then we'll look at how we can actually automate this a little bit better. So let's take a look at the example we have on screen now. So I have a very simple monorepo here. We can see I have our is even project and it's just exporting this one function. So if I wanted to go ahead and use TypeScript to build this, I can run the command TSC and give it the dash P option to specify which project and say is even. So when we do that, we can see everything works fine. We've got an index.js file. This is the JavaScript that gets exported. We got an index.d.ts file. This is our type definitions, which is exactly what we want. And we also have this tsconfig build info. This has a bunch of info that TSC is going to need to let us know if we've built this before. So let's go ahead and delete these files. Because next I want to look at is odd. So let's open up is odd. And we can see is odd actually depends on is even. We're actually trying to import that function from our is even project into is odd in order to implement our function. So as we can see, we're getting some issues that we can't find the is even module. If we try to run TSC with the is odd project, we'll find we get the same error here. It actually suggests that we add aliases to the path option. So let's set this up. We'll go into rtsconfig.json at the root of our project. And here I'm just going to turn on the path that I had commented out. So this is just creating a path alias from this name is even to this file here, the barrel file for the is even project. So as soon as we save this, we can go back to our is odd file. And here we can see we actually know where it is even is coming from. We can actually use the IntelliSense here to take us there too which is great. And now when we try to run our TSC for is odd, we are able to do so. So what we just looked at was again, not project references, but rather path aliases. So that's uh, in the compiler options under paths. So this is just a way of naming things so that TypeScript can know how to resolve this name when we're running an import statement. However, we can see from the build that things are actually not exactly what we want. So a good way of understanding this is this graphic that I have on screen here. So with only path aliases, whenever TypeScript is building is odd, it doesn't know that there's a boundary here between is odd and is even. It's treating that is even.index.ts file as if it's part of the is odd project. And that's why we see an index.js file being created here for is even, even though we just ran the build for is odd. So let's go ahead and remove these files again because now we're going to turn on path references to is odd. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to uncomment this line. In this way, we are going to specify for specifically our is odd project, we have a reference to this path is even. So we're only referencing the projects that this project depends on. Notice we won't have to do this for is even. Is even doesn't have any other dependencies. At the root level here too, we also want to turn on composite true. And this is required for building with path references. So once this is all set, I'm going to hit a save here. And we're going to run it again, our TSC. And we're going to do dash B. So rather than specifying the project, we're specifying it to be run in build mode. And we're going to say for is odd. And I'm also going to throw the verbose flag on here so we can see a little better what's going on. So when we run this, we can see TypeScript is determining the projects in this build, is even and is odd. And it's going to run is even first because it sees that's how the dependency chain lies. So first we are building the is even project. And then we're going to go ahead and build the is odd project. As we can see, we've created the index.js file, index.d.ts file, and our build info here for all of them. So I can also do this here. Let's do instead of is odd, we'll do it for just is even, and we'll see what happens. So here we can see only the is even project here is in the build. And then we check to see if that build is up to date, which it is, and then we are all good to go. So what's the TLDR about project references? Well, really, it's a way of defining at the TypeScript level the boundaries of our projects. We've actually benchmarked what these performance gains look like with a very large repo. I'll be sure to link this repo into the description below as well. 
But as we can see, there is a benefit here to using references instead of simply path aliases. Now, the time difference isn't that significant, especially with a cold cache, at least in the dimension of time. One of the places we saw a significant increase in performance was in memory usage, where we saw memory usage go from 3 gigabytes with just path aliases to approximately under 1 gigabyte with project references. And this actually makes sense given this mental model. Instead of TypeScript having to bring in your entire monorepo into memory in order to run its linking step in its build, TypeScript can now focus in on the projects it needs to to run the build at hand. And while usually memory usage reduction isn't that interesting, in the realm of CI, this is actually very impactful. Because as a CI company, many of our clients end up running into issues with memory usage because we're using smaller machines inside of CI. So often we have to bump up the class of our machines, which is going to end up costing more money. So something that significantly reduces the memory footprint is going to be very welcome, especially for large organizations.